the Northeast Conference Men's Basketball Championship game made its way back to LIU Brooklyn for the second year in a row. Again, the opponent, the Robert Morris Colonials. LIU and RMU squared off before a packed house in the Wellness Recreation and Athletic Center with a bid to the big dance on the line. LIU had lost the lone regular season meeting between the two, but the Blackbirds came out firing on Wednesday night looking for revenge. C.J. Garner knocking down an early jumper, only to be answered by Robert Morris's Russell Johnson. Jamal Alassaware puts it back for the Blackbirds. He was the 2011 NEC Tournament MVP. And freshman Lucky Jones with the elbow jumper for Robert Morris. With star power on both sides, the teams traded buckets for much of the first half. Julian Boyd threw one down off a pass from Brickman, but then Elijah Thompson with the answer in the paint. Robert Morris also received contributions down low from Mike McFadden, playing in his first NEC championship game. But there's Boyd again doing work for LIU off the feed from Brickman. It was Brickman who had a championship game record 11 assists on the night. Robert Morris was unfazed by the crazy crowd on hand at the rack. As you can see, Mike McFadden scoring the bucket plus the foul. Every time the Blackbirds needed a big shot, they got one. Here's a three right before the end of the first half as the Blackbirds took a 39-31 lead into the break. Julian Boyd had only six points in the first half, but it was only a matter of time before the NEC Player of the Year began to heat up. Boyd finished the game with 18 points and 10 rebounds. Jamal Alassaware, seen throwing it down right there, also had 18 for the Blackbirds. And there, my friends, the play of the day. Da-na-na, da-na-na. Garner's alley-oop lob to Boyd from beyond half court not only got Brooklyn's own Spike Lee excited, but it made SportsCenter's number one play of the day. LIU's Jason Brickman finished with a double-double of 18 points and 11 dimes. He joined Jamal Alassaware and Julian Boyd on the all-tournament team. The Blackbird C.J. Garner, who had a game-high 21, was making moves like Jagger all second half long as the Blackbirds built a 17-point bulge. All-tournament team member Karan Williams hits a late three for Robert Morris, but it was not nearly enough as the Blackbirds go dancing again in Brooklyn. After the celebration, NEC Commissioner Noreen Morris was in the building to hand out the post-game hardware. NEC Player of the Year Julian Boyd picked up more honors, being named to the all-tournament team and taking home the MVP award. Next up for Boyd and the Blackbirds, the NCAA Tournament. They'll find out their first round opponent on Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern on CBS. Yeah, well, we talk a lot about tempo in general. Like, you know, they, they want to play in the 60s. We want to play high 80s. Uh, and we talked about that. We talked about dictating the tempo of this basketball game to do so. We had to come out aggressively. We had to set the tone on how physical and how aggressive we want to play. And I thought we, we did that right from the get-go. And, and I sensed that probably the first three minutes, uh, even though they had to leave, we were playing to our tempo. And I knew we were going to be able to just keep going and keep going. Well, it is to win a regular season championship. And, you know, we did that once last year. And let alone for us to do do that alone back to back is, is hard. But to be able to do that back to back and with championships back to back, that's just you know something that's extremely hard. And we've worked extremely hard for that this whole year. So I think we definitely we definitely deserve it. Uh, well, we definitely worked worked uh, for this championship. You know, from the 6 a.m. workouts, I mean, even when we got back, we you know uh, us players, we just talked about it as a team not to take any days off. You know, we knew what the goal was. We knew we had the pieces, the coaches, definitely, to make another run at this and, you know, to be able to put ourselves in a position to win another regular season championship and to play in a 
atmosphere like this in a game like this, you know, uh, it's amazing. And, you know, if, uh, we only can thank one man, that's the man upstairs, for uh, blessing us with an opportunity like this. I think it's, you know, it's the goal of every college basketball team when we come back in September to just back, to, you know, get back to the NCAA tournament. And, you know, there was a long time that LAU hadn't gotten back, and, and you know, to get there twice, I think it's just really special. I turned to my assistant coach for about 35 seconds ago, and I said, look what we just built, you know, to do it back to back. From when we came here, I don't know how many years ago, and we had to build a brick by brick, and it's, it's pretty special. I think you see that, you know, our university, the, the student body still on the court, the community. Heck, Spike Lee even showed up. You know, I mean, it's like I think there's a lot going on in Brooklyn, uh, and I think these guys are a big part of, you know, the life of what's happening in Brooklyn. It's truly really special.